Hi, Lindsay from Georgina Public Library. Um, my talk today is in honor of Asian History Month. Uh, I just took a bunch of books that were available to me at the time that happened to uh, be by Asian writers. And I thought I'd talk about those today. Uh, there are many, many, many more. Uh, most of what I have here are books that have actually been translated in, from Japanese or Chinese. Um, or um, Vietnamese, and there are many, many more that have been written directly into English or translated, some of which I've featured in previous videos, um, Sensei and Sensibility, uh, Breast and Eggs, etc., and I've identified those. At the uh, end of this video, I am going to point you to uh, part of our website called Collections Corner and there you will find a listing of many more worthy titles uh, written by Asian authors. But these were what were hand to hand so I'm just going to start with The Hole. The Hole is written by Hiroko Oyamada, a Japanese author, an award-winning book. Um, this has been translated so often these have had um, a lot of uh, repute and then get translated and around the world. So this is a book, it's a small little book, reminiscent of Lewis Carroll, uh, David Lynch, and um, My Neighbor Tutoro, if you're familiar with that. So I expect that this is deliciously weird. <laughs> Um, it is uh, an atmospheric thriller. It's described as a page turner and yet haunting and transformative. So you may want to check out the whole, just a small but thrilling read. The next one I have here is by a Vietnamese author called The Mountain Sing. Such a lovely title too. And uh, this is a multi-generational telling of the Tron family, and it's set against the backdrop of the Vietnam War. So the author is uh, really well known um, for poetry, nonfiction, and short stories, predominantly written in Vietnamese. This particular book is her debut novel written directly into English. And it has won already five awards, including the New York Times um, Editor's Choice Award for 2020. So um, she, uh, I'm sure it's quite poetic because that is her forte, uh, the Milton Sing. This book uh, is part of a series. It's actually the second in the series called The Legend of the Condor Heroes. It's a Chinese author translated into English. Um, it's historical martial arts fiction with a bit of kung fu magic. Um, it is, uh, uh, he has a huge worldwide following, so um, worth, worth checking out. This is Earthlings. It is uh, kind of an odd little book. The author is described as one of Japan's up-and-coming authors, young authors. She got a huge following with uh, the convenience store woman, over 300 million readers, and um, numerous awards. Um, this one is uh, described as compelling and a little weird magic realism. Um, she fancies herself an alien uh, and it's a bit of a dystopian novel that focuses on um, it's a social critique on how we all conform um, from what i understand it's uh, parts of it can be quite shocking and therefore it could trigger uh, somebody who may have experienced abuse in the past but um, has has a lot of um, following on goodreads as well Run Me to Earth is by a Chinese author. It is written in English, directly into English. Um, it's an epic historical fiction about orphaned children, again, during the Vietnam years um, in the 60s. And um, 
It's about the orphans and their mentor set in Vietnam during the war years. Uh, one of the um, critics identified this as one of those rare novels that stays with us to become a standard by which we measure other books. So that's high praise indeed. Again, it's not a long, a long book, but this author um, has uh, quite a, a good reputation, and he's an American author, uh, born in America. And the last one I'm going to feature is The Memory Police by Yoko Agawa. Um, she's actually one of my favorite Japanese writers. She's written about 20 books. Um, but this is the only one of hers that we actually have in the system. It was uh, long listed for the Booker Prize. And she's won with this, oh, seven different awards and been shortlisted for a number of others. Um, so this one is somewhat dystopian. It, uh, it's, uh, talks, it takes place in a surveillance state. So what happens is they live on an island and slowly things disappear. It starts with small things like um, certain plants or certain birds and, and the memories of these things are wiped out. And there's a small group of people that still retain the memories and, um, and, and the island is populated with the memory police and nobody really knows what happens between the memory police and those that remember things. But the idea is to not remember things. So it starts off in that kind of dystopian way and then it becomes really a meditation on the power of memory and um, loss and the things that sort of give us a sense of self. So it's quite meditative as well. Lovely book. So those are just a handful of books that uh, came in last year as brand new um, and that are by Asian writers, both those that have been translated and those that are um, uh, he, uh, born here or write directly into English. Um, here is the, the uh, link to the um, collections corner on our website. You'll find a whole list of many, many other authors many of which are brand new to our system. So do explore um, re great reads and uh, a variety of different topics.